Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and I've got some pretty huge news today. We now have a new game engine and a game engine we all know and love is now dead. What I'm talking about today is Amazon Lumberyard. Amazon Lumberyard is no more. Welcome to Open 3D Engine. Maybe one of the weirdest names I've ever, it's, it's a low hanging fruit name, I guess we could call it, but it's O3DE uh, and by what you can guess by the name Open 3D Engine, what has basically happened is Amazon have now open sourced Lumberyard. Now Lumberyard probably didn't turn out the way they wanted it to. Now, if you've never heard of it before, it is a completely free to use minus multiplayer online game engine uh, that Amazon bought from Crytek, the makers of CryEngine. They bought a fork of CryEngine. Back in CryEngine, about 3.2-ish was released and um, have been developing it on their own ever since. It's never really taken off huge. The biggest uh, player in the space was they got Star Citizen to port over from CryEngine. Uh, they've tried to make a number of games in-house. They made a Top Gear game that was a bit of a flop. They've made a few games that have been canceled. There's a couple of other uh, Lumberyard game engine uh, games out there, but it's never really hugely taken off. So today we have today's announcement uh, that Amazon... Um Lumberyard is now going to be the open 3D engine and the open part of this is actually fairly nice because this is being run by the Linux foundation the same people that well they run Linux so it's not exactly uh, a bunch of newbies in terms of open source here so I'm hoping Amazon are going to continue uh, to put their resources behind it but we now have a brand new open source game engine now when this happens you're always going to be a bit curious which what? Well, we've got uh, the Linux Foundation has announced the Open 3D Foundation with AWS seeding. Seeding is another word for give me money, give me money. Uh, the foundation with the Open 3D engine. Open 3D E is an AAA capable cross platform open source game engine. As part of an open source community, Open 3D can, dis uh, can expand 3D development for games and simulations by providing all the tools that developers need to bring their real time 3D environments to life. Engine is available under the Apache 2.0 license so anyone can, can, build, can build and retain their intellectual property and choose to contribute back to the project or not contribute back. So that is really key. Apache is one of the really good open source licenses as an end user, in my humble opinion. The other cool part here is there's a lot of things in this um, engine that are proprietary right now. And it looks like they've got buyer pi uh, uh, partner buy-in to actually um, release a lot of those things as well. So we've got technology here from Adobe, Audio Kinetic, uh, Huawei, Intel, uh, Open Robotics, Popcorn Effects, uh, Side Effects, Wargaming, oddly enough, and so on. Uh, so they're going to uh, be able to open source those components of the engine as well, I believe. Uh, so that is very much nice. Uh, continually focus our efforts on things customers expect from Amazon and AWS, including innovations like massive scale support, cloud rendering, a studio in the cloud, and many native features for the engine itself. Uh, so that's where their developments are gonna go forward on. Uh, so Lumberyard is now an open source engine. Uh, and no, O3DE is very different from the artist formerly known as Lumberyard. So they're saying it's different. This is kind of Lumberyard 2.0. Uh, so they took all these things that they were working on and kind of rebranded them as O3DE instead of a future version of Lumberyard. Um, Leaned heavily on Lumberyard's experience, iterated, improved uh, for eventual collaboration and, and creative control. We kept the parts the customers love about Lumberyard and significantly revamped the rest. Uh, we aim to build an engine that can stand the test of time in an open source world because game engines tend to be monolithic. We leaned heavily towards becoming uh, modular with extensibility, embracing open standard tool sets from the, day, uh, from the onset. Uh, we remain unsatisfied, so we added a new prefab system, a new build system, an extensible UI, many new cloud capabilities, numerous math library optimizations, new networking capabilities, and far too many performance improvements to mention here. For good measure, we also added a whole new renderer capable of forward plus and deferred rendering with ray tracing and global illumination support. So it is a modular engine. This has kind of been the heart and probably one of the biggest pains in the butt about dealing with Lumberyard is their gem system, a collection of kind of extensions for it. Um, developers, uh, works around CMake. So they're definitely changing the build process. And that's something I'm happy to hear because quite frankly, uh, the, the pain of dealing with Lumberyard was always a six hour install just to get going. To build your projects was brutal. So uh, nice to see that they're, they're going around this loud, uh, that they switched over to using CMake for the build systems here. Hopefully the build process is a nicer experience. So you can read more about the future of the build system there. This is something they inherited from um, from CryEngine when they got it, the, uh, oh, what was it called? Not Lumber, the, um, oh, I forget, the command line tool for basically doing everything. It, it was a bit of a pig of a system. Um, so yeah, uh, we have the new renderer in place. This is something they are working on. This was going to be an upcoming version of Lumberyard. Now it's part of the rebrand to O3DE. 
This new renderer supports modern physically based rendering. Back ends include Vulkan and DirectX 12 with metal in development. Ships with global illumination forward plus out of the box. Deferred rendering support in the pipeline. Uh, it's modular, extensible, has their own top level shading language over top of the other shading language. It's a pretty common approach to things. I actually talked about uh, the upcoming Atom renderer, about it in what's coming for Lumberyard. So this is really a rebrand thing. Uh, they also have a new networking layer. I talked about that in the past as well, and they redid their math libraries. These things were all kind of previously announced in the world of Lumberyard. So nothing shockingly new, but the big thing here is that it, the entire thing uh, has been completely open sourced, uh, and that's a, a pretty big deal. So if you're interested in learning more, uh, they have a snazzy new website up right now. This is available at docs. or well, I guess o3de.org. Um, this is the new name of the engine. This is the new home of the engine. Uh, as you can see, this is an open source project. Uh, the developer preview right now. So this actually, the full O3D E release isn't coming until late 2021. Uh, but you do have the ability to fork it on GitHub as of right now. Uh, the release notes of this release are available right here. I will check this out, give you a hands-on with O3D E video at some point in the near future. Um, so uh, it's basically Lumberyard with all of the work in progress stuff from the next version of Lumberyard, now fully open sourced under the Apache 2 license uh, with a new renderer, new networking library, new math libraries, and so on. And I do have to say, Lumberyard was actually improving at quite a nice rate, uh, except for the installation process, that was still painful. Uh, but everything else was actually getting a lot nicer. Working with the engine and the editor was a lot nicer experience. And so it's going to be interesting to see what happens when it is completely open source. There's two ways this could go. And by the way, here we are up on the GitHub site. So if you want to go and check out the source code, it is all available right here. Uh, freshly installed, actually updated three hours ago. In terms of license, uh, is the Apache license by default. Uh, so parts of it are also under MIT. I imagine there's going to be a few areas there that are from partners that are still proprietary. But for the most part, this is a bona fide, no asterisk required open source project run by the Linux Foundation, seeded by Amazon using the Lumberyard source code. In all honesty, I think this is probably the best possible future for Amazon Lumberyard. Um, it was, it, it's a great tech that was never really adopted and Amazon put a lot of resources into improving it. Now we get more hands on it, more people working with it, an open source foundation behind it. We might have a very legitimate AAA quality open source game engine out there. And uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely an interesting announcement. The other possibility is that Amazon just finally went, okay, we're done with this. Let's just open source and get rid of it. And I hope that's not the approach they're taking here. There's a possibility it could go either way, but I'd like to think that they're at least going to seed it so it gets off the ground, has its own community. Hopefully a few contributors from the core team stay there, people behind the renderer, that kind of stuff, because an open source team is really built around a number of key individuals. But having the Linux Foundation and basically administrating it and uh, Amazon's resources behind it, uh, this could be a very interesting development, uh, and they've already got some pretty big names on board with supporting. So if you want to check it out, there's some details available there. Like I said, I will do a hands-on. This is really, realistically, this is still Lumberyard. So if you use the most recent version of Lumberyard, you probably know what to expect. Just there's a new renderer in place now. And again, it's not fully going to be out until the end of 2021. Uh, but... As I said earlier on, uh, the, the preview is out there. You can get started now. The instructions are available in the documentation. Uh, so if you want to check out Open 3D Engine, the artist previously known as Lumberyard, it is now open source and it is available at o3de.org. And let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of Lumberyard in general, Lumberyard being open source, the fact they picked the Apache 2 license, the fact that the Linux Foundation are the people running it, and uh, what do you think this means for the future of Lumberyard? And before this happened, did you think Lumberyard had a future? Interested in hearing what you've got to say, and uh, stay tuned for all 3D coverage at some point in the near future. All right, that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.